<laughs> Go ahead. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, cartoon fans. Uh, and welcome to Scott Stannis once again to um, this video production. Uh, Scott and I are both drawing today for CounterPoint. And we happen to be both drawing cartoons about Trump's indictment. Now, Scott, I have a really important question for you to start okay. off this, uh, this little video. Do you read when you're on the crapper? I do. It's almost never uh, <laughs> redacted information or, or nuclear codes, but yes, I do. How about you, Rob? <laughs> yes, I, I do. Uh, you know, I used to laugh at my dad because he'd have like a, a you know, a, a big stack of magazines in the, in the bathroom. And I always, you know, as a kid, I used to laugh about like, you know, how much time you spend in there. But then now as an adult, of course, uh, I appreciate that. But the, did you see the picture of boxes in the bathroom that Trump had? I mean, oh, what's he doing in there? You know, it's like crazy. What's weird about that bathroom is, first of all, it has a chandelier, which I'm sorry. <laughs> that's weird. But the second thing is, but then it has like a Walmart shower curtain. I mean, it's just that's the kind of <laughs> right. thing that cartoonists notice. Right. 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 <laughs> Now, uh, I will say that for my cartoon, I did not draw the chandelier. There was just too much else I had to get in there. For. So let's talk about our Trump cartoons because we've been drawing sure. him for so many years now and he's had so many scandals uh, and so many, you know, frankly, uh, charges against him. Um, but you've had a few good ones recently. Tell me about the one you're working on today for, for CounterPoint. Today's cartoon was pegged to the famous quote by Donald Trump now, infamous quote where he said, or boasted rather, that he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and he'd still go up in the polls. He wasn't kidding. I mean, no, that's he wasn't true. wrong. Yeah, that was a great cartoon. Thanks for sharing, Scott. Uh, tell us about the one you did with uh, Trump in prison. Yeah, that was drawn for the Chicago Tribune. And I read the indictment and clearly the guy is, I mean, this isn't some ticky tacky kind of charge. This is actually really serious. And so I have the president in jail being sworn in from between the bars, which I, and I got to draw Ivanka. So that's fun. Yeah. I mean, it is scary to think about him, uh, you know, him actually, you know, there is no, there is no rule or no law that says you can't, you can't run from, from inside prison, you know. By the way, Rob, did you, I don't know if you noticed, but Donald Trump actually said, even if he's convicted, he'll still serve as president. Right, right. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that should be interesting. Well. Here's a, here's a cartoon I drew about Trump back during the January 6th hearings. And um, it does seem like the Republicans, you know, no matter what, are obsessed with, yeah, Trump did that, but what about Hunter Biden? Or what about Hillary's emails? Or, or what about the Justice Department? What about Biden? You know, they, they don't seem to be able to even, even think about the possibility that their guy is a criminal. Oh, they don't care that he's a criminal. That more to the point. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. All right, tell let, tell us about the um, <laughs> the great cartoon you did for Counterpoint a couple of weeks ago. The great thing about Counterpoint is there really are no governors on our cartoons, so we can be as crude or as eleven year old ish as we as we want to be. <laughs> so Trump continued to climb in the polls even after the first indictment, even after all the other stuff comes out. And so I just showed it as being pegged to his masculinity. Perfect. No, that, that was a real stunner when I saw that sketch. <laughs> well, that, uh, great cartoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Draw, drawing it was uncomfortable as hell, I'll tell you. <laughs> no small hands there, right? <laughs> okay, and finally, finally, here's a cartoon that I did uh, back when he was impeached. Do you remember the impeachments when we thought those were important? Um, yeah, now and, and it's it, just pretty much a traffic ticket. It's like, <laughs> right. Well, so yeah, Trump Trump clearly had uh, an issue with toilets. Uh, you know, he wanted to fix the the, the problem with uh, low flow toilets. So I, I drew this cartoon um, with him responding from the appropriate place. And this brings us, of course, back to um, back to that bathroom at Mar-a-Lago and. Uh, 
I, I'll be the first guy to say it's it's great to have some reading material in the bathroom, but but man, man alive, that's just insane. This was ridiculous. And like I said, the indictment makes it abundantly clear that President Trump was trying to hide the fact that he had these. If you read the transcripts of his discussions, I mean, he's everything you think he is. He's an 11-year-old who just happened to be able to get away with everything. And he figures he's going to get away with this. And the fact of the matter is, Rob, he just might. That's a scary thought. <laughs> All right, Scott, thanks for joining me today and uh, good luck and good drawing. Thank you.